Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV, and I'm actually going to be doing a quick test here. Uh, let me show you what I'm working on here. So we're going to be using, we're going to be testing some flux pens right now. And uh, I wanted to wipe this desk down. Let me see if I can find some alcohol wipes here. I don't know where I put them. Uh, all right, well, we'll just have to wipe it down later. But anyways, so I, I got, um, somebody had asked me about our flux pen, which is clearly here. This is the one that we have. It's a 951 pen. Um, the only problem is our labels hadn't come in yet uh, when they, when these arrived, they're being done separate. So, <clears throat> but they said that they didn't think it was working very well, so I figured I'd go ahead and test it. So we're gonna test it live, and if it's not, we're gonna pull the product, or else maybe it was something else. But here's the thing, I'm gonna test it against the Kester, um, against the Yosker, and against York. So these are three other ones, and then there's ours. Um, and when we first initially tested this batch, it was fine. So either we have a bad batch, or something went wrong uh, on the customer side, or whatever it may be, but, you know, the idea of providing this stuff is that we pick high quality things and if this is not meeting those expectations then we're gonna have to cut it and find another route. So I'm gonna do it live and just see where we're at. So first thing is, I just grabbed a random PDB and I'm gonna do all four corners since I have four pens, I'm gonna use different uh, pens for each one. And so what we'll do is, um, we'll start with, uh, I don't know, we'll start with a Kester here and we'll go in this order. So we'll do Kester and then ours and then Yosker and then York, okay? so. Kester, ours, Yosker, York, and I'll just keep turning it like this, okay? And we're gonna knock this out pretty quickly. I've got the solder, I'm ready to go. And we are using the new solder that we're providing here, which you can find online, uh, and I'll put some links to that later, but for right now, let's just get started with this and see what we got, okay? So, with that said, uh, hold on, I think we got, um, all right. So I'm going to, give me a second here, I'm gonna pause this video, my wife just pulled up, and I will, you guys are gonna know it's paused, but you're gonna notice a quick cut in here. All right, so I'm back now, and here we go. We're going to give this a shot, okay? So the first thing, like I said, is we're going to go in order of these. Uh, let me make sure this thing doesn't move. There we go. We're going to go in order of the pens here. So uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put, we're going to use the Kester. Oh, oh yeah, first, guys, make sure you shake these up real well, okay? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put the Kester here, okay? And then we will go ahead and put our non 951 version here. Make sure it's running, yep. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and put the Oscar version here. Hold on, i got to get this one. This one's not coming out yet. There we go. Okay. I'm going to keep them in the order that we're working with. And then we'll put the York version. These are all brand new, so... And there's no uh, ink in the tips yet there. There we go. I mean, uh, no liquid in there yet, so there we go. All right, now, I'm going to take the same solder, uh, which is right here, okay? And we started like this, so we know that right now this is going to be the Kester. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that one. And I'm just kind of seeing how it plays out there. All right, that is one hot iron, but I'm trying to tighten it up a little bit here. There we go, okay. And then we'll go and do the positive here next. All right, looks good. I'll just try to cover this up here. There we go. Okay, and I do like the way that held. Okay, so now we're going to go to ours, right here, and I'll start with the ground first. I mean, looks, looks like it applied just fine. I don't see any problems so far. Okay, and then we'll do the positive next. That looks good too. I mean, so far it looks really well. Uh, so the next one is going to be the Oscar. I'll do the positive on that one first. And let's do the negative here for the ground. And again, it looks like it's applying just fine as well. Okay. And the last one is going to be the York. So let's go ahead. We'll start with the positive here.
Okay, that went on really well. Let's go to the ground here. And there you go. All right, so let's just take a look at this real quick and see what we're working with and see what's happened, what the result is, right? Because so far, I'm not seeing any problems at all. Um, so let's just zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and we'll try to show you how clean it looks. So again, this was the um, Kester and everything on here looks really well. I have no problem with this at all. Uh, this is ours. This is the Cyclone FPV version or brand, I guess. Uh, again, I know there's no label. It was supposed to be ready in time, but they were redesigning it. Uh, uh, this is the Oscar, and then this is the York. So I'll be honest with you, all four of them have done an exceptional job. Um, but I gonna, I'm going to try something else now, and I'm going to see how I can do this on... This is a brand new board. Um, it's one of the ones that we are testing out to carry. And I was doing... This is part of our... Uh, uh, fly sky set up for the um to do the telemetry and one thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to run some of our uh, uh uh flux pen some of our flux right here across this line here okay so let me see if i can do that real quickly so and then i'll zoom out of this in just a little bit so that uh you guys can see a little bit more but let's zoom out of that real quick okay so the idea is going to be to uh run our flux pen across here now that we know that they all seem to work the same on that level i don't really need to test the rest of them what I'm going to do now is just kind of paint a ton of flux right here, just for the sake of doing that. And I'm going to try something because this will be the next test that I would expect. And we're going to let it dry just a little bit, okay? I'm going to clean the tip of this soldering iron so it looks good. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and get my solder ready. It's a new strand, same solder. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just touch the first one, just like that, make sure everything looks good, okay? Looks like it's dry enough. I don't want this spinning all over the place, but let me just see if I can angle it so I can solder you know what, I'll just take, uh, let me remove this receiver real quick from here. Okay. All right. So this is the area that we just put our flux, pay, our flux pen on. And so here's what I'm going to do. What I want to do is I want to get one on there and I'm just going to run it across. All right. And what I'm looking for is to see if I run it across just like that. I mean, look at that. I ran it across and the flux did exactly what it was supposed to do. It held the solder to the, to the pads, right? So let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see that better. You see that? Okay. So if you didn't see that, I'm going to do the same thing again on this side, right? Uh, here's the same, uh, here's the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take uh, my pen again, which is right here. And I'm just going to run it across. Okay. I'm going to wait a second. Now, I will tell you that if you use flux pens and you don't shake them before you use them, the, uh, the flux will start to separate. I mean, the, the, the minerals inside, the materials inside will start to separate. Uh, so you've got to shake this up because you need it all to combine properly before you apply it, right? So here goes. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to try to show you. I just got to get my soldering iron lined up. Okay, so the first one is I'm going to test one. Make sure we're ready to go. Okay, we are. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it like that. This is how I would usually tell you if my flux is working good. And this is, this is what I would do, right? And I don't recommend to ever so really solder like this, but this is a good way to test the flux. So what you do is you just take your pen, your, your iron, and you run it straight across, just like that. And look at that. It's done. All the solder is exactly where it's supposed to be. None of it bridged together, and none of it ran outside the circles. So I've got to tell you guys, I don't see any problem at all with this, okay? At all. Um, I would try. Now, I'm not so sure. I cannot remember. Uh, let me see. Um... Uh, I don't have a pad big enough to demonstrate this, what would happen without flux, but it would have been, it would have been good to do. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is I don't have a problem with this flux at all. I think it's actually performing well. Um, and I wish I could, I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to see if I can give you an example here under, under the camera, but I'm not sure if I can, um, that, uh, when we, when we've got everything running properly, it, it, what the idea is, is that you're not supposed to have any runoff. Now I did flux that area. And I've got it uh, also on my um, on my piece here. But let me just see if I can find... I don't know if I... I didn't grab a board, I don't think. Maybe this one. I don't think I did anything to the rest of these in the past. But I guess what I'm trying to do is... You see how we want it? We want it to bind, right? And we don't want it to run off. That's that's the idea, right? And flux helps to keep everything... To, helps to adhere the, 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 the um, solder properly without having it run off. And that's what we're getting out of all this. So... I would say that if that's what you're looking for, and this is what you're hoping to get out of the flux uh, pen, then this is ideal. I don't have a single problem with this at all. 
And I think that because we've still got some left on our iron, and I'm going to check real quickly. All right, so if I just run this across. Now, what I want you to notice is I run it across here without the flux. You can start seeing where it didn't grab very much to these three pads, right? And that's what the flux is going to help you with. Now, I can keep going over and hope that it grabs. But again, it still didn't grab, right? So now what I'm going to do, and that's just going quickly. So now what I'm going to do is hopefully this is cooled off enough. I'm just going to go ahead and flux it anyway, okay? And I always recommend that you just run one across the table to make sure that if you have liquid running out of it, okay? Just like that. So I do. And you can see that we had these three pads that were left, right? One, two, and three. So hopefully it's dry enough now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take it here. And now I'm going to run it across. And now look, look at that. See, that's how you can tell your flux pen is working when it will grab, right? So now some of this, because the flux is fresh, you see how I'm doing that here? And it's not exactly taking properly, but if I flux it real quick, now some of these were already fluxed because I already did some soldering on this earlier on this side, but these two weren't because I don't do 3.3. I'm not running anything with 3.3 volts right now. But if I start here now and I go across, look, see how it already took? And that's how you know your flux pen is working well. And there you go. Now this one, I don't know if I've done it or not yet. But uh, anyway, so that's the whole point is to show you guys what you sh should be expecting and seeing if the flux pen is working properly, okay? And if you don't have flux on there properly or, sorry, let me switch this now. Okay, so um, let's get this out of here. Okay, so here's the deal. If you have your flux pen, if you're using flux and you just understand something about this now, um, flux is awesome, right? And it helps to get the solder to adhere to your pad properly. It also helps it to stop running off onto other things, okay? Um, and, uh, but that doesn't mean that you have to use flux every time in order for it to stick to your pad. It just means that if you're a fast solder or if you're soldering a very small area, um, oh, whatever. I mean, just, it's, for me, it's ideal. I don't, I don't solder without using a flux pen, but, uh, you know, and I, and I noticed that as you, as you make that part of your, um, uh, practice is you, where's my glasses? I can't see a damn thing. Here we go. Sorry, I'm getting some real glasses soon, but these are my dork ones. So if you, if you use it and get used to using it, then as you solder, everything becomes, you know, everything's the same. Everything, your consistency is perfect. Um, when you have a bad soldering uh, pen, a bad flux pen, or uh, bad components, I guess, or bad chemicals, um, you'll either, it'll start bunching up or it won't stick to the pad at all. Uh, that could also be part of, because you have bad solder. Uh, it could be that your gun's not set right, whatever it may be. Um, but most of the time when that happens, it leans towards the flux pen and the liquid not being right or it not being shaken properly. And a lot of people just grab it and go and you've got to shake it or else it's like anything else. It'll just start pouring out in some cases and it's not, the, it, you know, you don't have all the material in there to, to um, bind it to the pad and then have your solder stick. So do that. Also make sure that you let the flux settle just a minute, right? Once you get it on your board, don't go at it while it's wet. Let it dry just a minute. It's going to leave like a clear film. This is a non-clean flux pen versus a 186, which is a, um, a semi-clean. You have to you have to actually clean the board a little bit. So put it on there, let it sit a minute. And then as you saw me do, you can just start with good solder and your soldering iron and run it straight across. And it should beat up and stick as it's supposed to, okay? If you have any questions about this, guys, hit me up. I, I, again, I will... I, I will say that our pen is actually performing like it's supposed to. Uh, it may have been a bad pen. I don't know. I'm going to look into it, but I was concerned enough to where I said I would do a video and I would do it live with the four pens and make sure that everything came out the same. And this is the uh, board that we soldered. And as you can see here, uh, this was the Kester, this was ours, this was the Foster, and this was the York. And if you look at them, I mean, I'm trying to get them as close as I can. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, they look good. I mean, they all look good and they all stuck really well and they're all on there very solid. Um, so I don't see any problem with it. All right. Anyways, if you have any questions, uh, please hit me up at targetcyclonfpv.com. As always, please follow us and subscribe on our YouTube channel and then follow us or like us or whatever you're supposed to do with Facebook. I don't know. Do all those things and uh, continue to show your support. We always appreciate it and we'll bring you some more videos soon. Happy 2020, guys. Go spend time with your family. See you later. Bye.